Big Bang advocates were saying these the very farthest galaxies ought to be babies. They ought to be low mass, clumpy, irregular galaxies. I'm saying no, they'll be mature galaxies uh, with with structure. Um, maybe I don't I don't think I specifically said spiral structure, but that's what I was implying. And then uh, third, they were saying the farthest galaxies should have we should finally find these population three star zero metallicity. And I'm saying no, these farthest galaxies will have heavy elements in them, metals like nearby galaxies. And in July of 2022, James Webb sent us back the first data from these distant galaxies. And we found, lo and behold, galaxies at redshifts way beyond, redshift 14, 16, 18. There's some estimates go out to a redshift of 20, which is way farther than the seculars were expecting. But I was expecting that. They found that these galaxies are far more massive than they were expecting. They were they did not find the baby clumpy galaxies. They found evidence of fully formed mature galaxies, even galaxies with spiral structure. They've now found evidence of barred spirals, which are not supposed to form for like six billion years. But there they are. Uh, so I was right about that one, too. And the James Webb uh, spectroscopy revealed that there are indeed heavy elements, things like oxygen in these most distant galaxies. So in all cases, uh, the creation predictions were right. The Big Bang predictions were wrong.